a black man went on a black man's platform, spoke candidly, was allowed to speak candidly, wasn't cut off, wasn't redirected. There were no apologies for commercial break. There were no parts of the interview cut out to make him sound crazy. And the result of that was 7 million views within 24 hours. I already told y'all what I think of Shannon Sharp. I am pumped for that brother's continued success. And like most black people, I've been a fan of Cat Williams since where was your antennas? That man been hilarious. And I'm not going to lie. I fell for some of the things that were said about him too. I did. But I am glad that he appears to be in good health. And while I won't share my opinion on the things that were said in the interview, I do appreciate his willingness to share that. I mean, we know I agree with one thing he said. <laughs> and y'all still trying to get y'all licked back on that too. Man, y'all pathetic. This is what I was talking about when I said there is no way that Fox could have wanted to let Shannon Sharp go. This is what I envisioned when I said that Shannon Sharp, Stephen A., Jalen Rose should break away from the big networks and do their own thing. I mean, if there's one interview that would break the internet more than this, it would be if Jalen Rose decided to go on a platform and tell everything he knows. But what I really want to talk about today is a word that I've seen over and over when looking at the reactions. Because I think it's sad when someone gets on camera and tells the truth, or at least what appears to be such, and we call that person courageous. When I was listening to the great instructor, Dr. Cornell West, he spoke something that made my antennas go up. He said, we all have distinct voices if we muster the courage to raise them and not echo. Those words, a twist on Einstein's be a voice, not an echo, made me question why Dr. West added muster the courage. Because if I said I had to muster the strength to do something, that means that strength wasn't readily available. I had to dig deep, give it my all. Why is speaking the truth courageous in our community? It can only be looked at as being courageous if others fear doing so. Why does that fear exist? Why are people so afraid to speak their minds on camera, but will type all kinds of stuff behind a screen name? I'll stop going to check out other people's channels. Because they'll get my comments and they'll write a whole book. Tell me how wrong I am. Throw in a cape for the victimhood. And then when you go to check them out, they're in animation. They're in disguise. You scared balls might see you, huh? You know, a couple weeks ago, I received a comment asking if I was a fan of Larry Elder. To which I responded, absolutely. I support Larry Elder, a black man that a lot of black people don't support. Because he wants the same for black families that I do. It does not matter what platform he has gone on. He has stated that very thing. That's why I support him. But that's not why I'm a fan of him. I'm a fan because, like myself, Larry Elder says what he means and stands on the business of that. He doesn't give a damn what you think, what I think, or the backlash that follows. And I respect the hell out of that. And as y'all already know, and if you don't, you'll surely find out, I speak unapologetically. So when I see a black man that does the same, knowing there aren't as many of us as there should be, I become a fan of that man. And as y'all already know, black men don't have to be perfect to garner my support. So although he says some things that I don't agree with on the Trayvon Martin situation, and he shares an opinion that I don't on Donald Trump, I still make contributions to his campaign. But it's sad that that's the reason I'm a fan of Larry Elder. Because that, in my opinion, shouldn't be looked at as courageous. It should be standard especially amongst men in our communities. I see the word courage and bravery all the time in my comments, along with a lot of concern for me telling the truth and speaking on uncomfortable topics. And again, while I appreciate the support and concern for my well-being and mental health, let me tell y'all right now, the one thing y'all don't have to do is be concerned about me whatsoever, not even the least bit. When I get up here and talk, I'm comfortable. I record in the same place I rest my head at night. I'm not worried about what people say, what people do. Not worried about being canceled. I can't be bought. I'm not afraid of shit. Didn't have to muster shit up to do this. I live in the real world. I make a real world impact on my community. I do not care about cancel culture. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Cancel culture. Cancel this culture where little black boys don't believe they can achieve as much as the next. Cancel this culture where little black girls see other girls as their standard of beauty. Cancel this culture where black men and women, legitimate gripe or not, get on platforms and speak of each other as if they're absolutely nothing? Yeah, you tell cancel culture, come holla at me. We can cancel this shit together.
I'm not falling for these old tropes where every time y'all see a pro-black man, y'all want to quiet him down, try and shame him, label him something he's not. That shit ain't going to work with me. Pro-black has never meant anti-anything. Pro-black is only anti-something else to someone who doesn't want to see black progress. It's that simple. And don't get it twisted. It's a whole lot of black folk who don't want to see black progress either. Yeah, they don't want the rest of us catching up to them. They might lose favor with boss. When I think of courage, I don't think of words being spoken on podcast. If courage has to do with anything being spoken, it will be what was spoken in front of a group that had the ability to react. When I think of courage, I think of the good men and women in our communities who grew up in a culture that said, fuck the police. But they saw how the police were mistreating us, so they pursued a career as a police officer so that they could police their communities fairly. Policing a people who will dislike them because of their profession, because they want to protect them from others in their profession. That's a lose-lose situation. That's courage. I think of a young man in Texas who's telling the school that you're going to have to accept me for who I am with the hair that grows naturally on my head because that's the only outcome I'm willing to accept. That's courage. I think of a man climbing up a burning building because he thinks his mother is inside and he's going to save her. I think of a man running into a burning building to save his twin daughters. Do y'all think they had to muster that courage up? Telling the truth and calling out bullshit should be standard. We have to change the narrative and start calling coward shit what it is. I should not have as many comments as I do speaking of courage and bravery because of things that I talk about in the comfort of my own home. My voice shouldn't even be heard. It should be drowned out by those with larger platforms speaking the same. Cowardice should be the anomaly, but it seems like that's the standard in our communities. I told y'all I'm on that ass all 2024.